Hello everybody, my name is That Joe Guy, and welcome back to Rainy Days with Joe. Where the requisition officer, dearest requisition officer, blocks our path to our change of party. So we want Dorian, Blackwall, and Cole. A Grey Warden recruiter. That sounds interesting. It's not easy finding people willing to shoulder such a terrible responsibility. Here I thought you poked around prisons, hunting for murderers, desperate to escape the noose. That's what you think of wardens. <laughs> it's not such a terrible thing. Some of my best friends are murderers. <laughs> they are men and women atoning for what they've done by giving of themselves. They fight for people like you, people in silks and velvets, who talk and judge. Who's judging now? I know your kind. Blackwall, that wasn't very nice. Dorian was poking at best light fun. You really do take everything pretty personally, don't you? Let's see yours though. You're a champion. Uh, sworn to give his life to protect his friends and allies, he puts himself between them and danger and his experience and resolve let him stand against attacks that fill weaker warriors. Still, I think Blackwell's strength comes from the fact that he takes himself so seriously. Whatever his life was before, he's wholly committed to this one. I like a less jocular version of Nathan. Line in the stand. Sand. You call upon the legacy of the greatest champions in history, defying enemies as you hold your position. This stops enemies from moving past you and enables you to block choke points. That's awesome. That's really useful. You look ridiculous. You look like a policeman in a fluorescent outfit. And not just any policeman, a large policeman. And not like muscular large, but like out of shape large. Which there's no problem being, but you're not large, Blackwall, so you should try and avoid outfits which make you look as such. He's attacking me now. Oh, I spy a ghost. Cool, turn green and communicate. Done and done. Indeed. Decimated. All right, let's go down. We're on our way, and uh, next on the line is beneath the mire. Mysterious vilifying runes are inscribed on rocks and runes in the mire. And that should be another beacon, right? Yeah. Let's just set up active because, you know, we're there. Or at least that's our next stop. <laughs> ah, I thought I could go in the water because I made the area safe. Well, damn this. <laughs> I could do this all day. I'd rather not. I have episodes to make, and they need to be varied and entertaining. I don't know why I take the vilifier with me. It just feels like it might come in handy one of these days. Otherwise, why would they give me the option to, you know, lift it? As long as I remember to pick it up after each fight, then I should be fine. Which I don't always do. I appreciate, but mainly fast travel is the responsible for me leaving these behind. So far, anyway. Okay, yes, I, I did pick up the stuff that was in here. Remember, because that's, that's when I'd sort of turn back and grab uh, the others. Here we go. Lootable body down there. Might as well. Disease tissue, lovely. Alley up, alley up. Damn it. Just get onto solid ground and then we'll take it from there. These aren't that bad. You know, I think I'd forgotten that the game, um, whenever I use an aerial effect, automatically freezes time. That's useful. What else? Small all the way over there. Get him. Get him. Fuck him up. Can't reach all the way over there. Damn. Gonna go though. It's admirable to see, except for the fact they went through a bunch of water and roused the dead. Which is unfortunate. Actually, that might have been me for paddling like I am right now. So now we'll get out of the water. Hmm. 
Man, these guys really are weak on health. Oh, is there another freaking corpse? Fine. Yes, yes, I know. I like it, though. I, I do like that the water makes the dead come up. Even if the dead aren't particularly threatening, it makes it, it makes it atmospheric and scary in its own wee way. There we go. Let's just ignore that guy over there, if he isn't dead already. Oh, loot, though. And the Vilfire Torch. Well, not even loot, just the Vilfire Torch. More of R. Just chillin'. Not for long, get it, chillin'. Now they're chillin'. Now they're less chillin'. Also, a corpse just walking along. As if they weren't mortal enemies. That was dramatic. That must be a death animation from whatever Cole does. A spirit of mercy, so he's called. There's the mouse going all wibbly again. The weeping spires. So where are the beacons? Ah, what's this? A point of interest, that you say. Trick, Cole, when you dip into someone's mind and take a drink, do you choose what you're looking for, or is it random? It has to be hurt, or a way to help the hurt. Mm. That's what calls me. Relinus. Skin tan like fine whiskey, cheekbones shaded, lips curl when he smiles. He would have said yes. I'll thank you not to do that again, please. <laughs> I like Dorian. He gets that it's not necessarily something the Cole necessarily controls or really understands what he's doing. So he's polite about it instead of like, you know, emotional and offended. That's nice. That was a nice wee character moment. Also, it's every now and then it's nice to see my companions get on with each other. <laughs> I can't see that guy over there. There you go. That'll do. I've made my contribution now. So what's this place? Oh, uh, find the cabin key. Oh, hey guys. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Oh shit, uh, what's, what's around? What's the... Oh, it's, uh, there's a thing in there. A ghost. Huh. Sort of, I guess, the equivalent of leaving it under the doormat. Ah! Okay, that was a little closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> a little closer and a little taller. But certainly no more threat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Waterlog diary. A diary found in the Fallow Mire. One water-soaked entry dated ten days ago is still legible. The damn roof the damned roof leaks, and I've been eating boiled roots for a week. I'm squatting in a bog, no one so much as a spit in for ten years. Still. Better than the alienage, thank Andraste. That's the last time I visit the city for a while. I'm worried about the gardeners. They weren't sick when I left, and now they're all down with a fever. And their little boy is at death's door. Nigel Marsh said we should lock them in their home, the sir, Codger. Maybe I can bring something to help. Is it death root that cures a fever, or elf root? It can be death root, can it? Ask Ira, which is right. Uh, so it's probably not. It's probably, uh, it's, it's spindleweed. We're getting hints of that all over the place. I still haven't found spindleweed. I wonder if I have any. Um, craft materials. I'm liking wearing the hoods, by the way. I mean, I'm quite happy. Yeah, I've got loads of it. I'm quite happy with, like, hiding the helmets for the most part. Although it's nice to see Cole in his hat again, and Dorian looks really cool in his battle mage armor and that hat. Uh, like, and, like, its feather cap suits him really well, too. Um, having said that... Like, it's, it's nice, in general, to be, even though I do, I'm not a particular fan of this hood, 
like the fact that it's raining so hard, just in, it's increasing my immersion is all. That's all. Um, right, hang on. Okay, here we go. Back through, get onto safe land, and then take it from there. Everybody else has kind of popped off. So yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't really like having that sometimes, is that when... Here we go. When it's active like that, it takes up the whole map, which is sort of visually distracting, even though the minimap doesn't give specific details. Oh dear. Um, they're all over the bloody place. But I feel like it's worth getting, so let's just go do it. Go and make the attack. Excuse me. I'm just getting it done whilst I'm around. I have full faith in my companions to handle this. And now that I'm back. Krakow. Get yeah, the log, the slippery log. Hmm. You know, it would be satisfying to be able to lay into these guys with a sword. I've always enjoyed playing spell swords. Like, combine the utilit utilitarianism, it just depends on, like, how well it's implemented. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that is the one I'm leaning more towards. Riftmage sounds cool, and has more to do with what Marcus currently is. But still. So any further thoughts about um, about uh, the Night Enchanter? Uh, just let me let me know in the comments, and I'll take it all into consideration. I once again forgot to take the I dropped the pill torch at some point on the way. That's okay, cause it's just here anyway. So never mind. Um, all right, let's. Uh, I guess let's quick save and let's just do it. Light it up. Light it up. Okay, this way first. Deal. Good, caught the terror at the same time. Plenty of undead coming in. These guys are so... They're so bleh. And I keep forgetting, um, the focus doesn't charge up any further than that. So when they come in... Oh, take that opportunity. Never mind, opportunity lost. There's a few around there. It's probably not worth using Mark of the Rift, except for the fact that, you know, what the fuck, it's gonna be fun. So, does it just do it? Get him dead. Okay, people at low health. Uh, that's Dorian and me right there, so let's just cast the barrier on. Come on, quickly. Well, fuck. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Dorian. Man, I'm actually in trouble over here. Blackwall. Help Dorian. I know, I know, I know. Everybody's fine, everybody's fine. Uh, but make your war cry. They're all taunted now, which is awesome. Um, get out of there. Start using your area of... Use that. Start using the area of effects. Don't you fucking... No! Fucking terrors, I hate their faces. They're meant to be taunted. Why are you even attacking me? Dispel. Fuck's sake, what even was that? This is actually going very badly. Um, let's take it. Get into tactical mode. We've taken down one of them, which is good. Cole's in trouble as well. And you know what? We never use these things, so let's just do it now. There we go. That's them all burning, so they should be cleared up in a matter of seconds. Yeah, you go. You go down. Terror's coming out somewhere. There's and I think it's just us versus them at this point. Maybe not, maybe not. That gets in the way so much. So don't target him, target them. Do that. Huh. Cold resistance, fire vulnerability, immunity, fear, asleep, poison, spirit vulnerability. Okay, and you have a spirit vulnerability, are burning, and they have an immunity to panic. So you're actually pretty simple enemies when it comes down to it. But, uh, regardless of that, 
Marcus, would you please just fucking thank you? God, tactical mode is the fucking worst. It just obscures shit. I don't know what they were thinking, quite honestly. Like, that big tag which just comes up right next to them with no opacity, with no... Well, sorry, with full opacity, I should say, as in you cannot see through it whatsoever. It's the fucking worst. Should have been doing that earlier. At the at most, Good work. yeah. We have a path free of corpses back to the shore. Sound strategy. Indeed. And I just gathered some stuff for uh, the way of the Griff Mage. Very nice. At most, it's okay to get like a decent view, and sometimes it helps you identify enemies via their rings, but it's still very obscure. Let's see your inscription then. Vilfire and the Fallow Mire. These unreadable runes evoke for a moment a sudden and overpowering feeling of smug and vengeful triumph, as though a difficult problem has been solved. There is the image of a bottle of elixir and then it fades. A cipher written in the last pages of Apostate Widris's journal corresponds to the Vilfire writing found in the Fallow Mire. Okay, great. Um, the deciphered messages note that, or notes that, when taken together, form instructions on how to concoct a particularly dangerous poison. Oh, I was expecting a cure for the plague, but hey ho. Second besties, I suppose. Well, that was fun. Um, that was tough, but fun. It might be worth uh, traveling back to camp. In fact, I think it is, because we're at travel points. So let's just go. In the meantime, I'm going to take a sip of my beverage, which, in case you're wondering, is uh, Mr. Muscle loves the jobs you hate. You know, I do wonder how many of my jokes are British only and would really only be got by British people. But never mind, eh? We've rested up, we're good, let's travel back. I'm exploring a decent chunk of this area. Uh, Memories of the Grey. Oh. Oh, next stop. Next stop. Lost Souls. How exciting. I wonder if I should, um... Nah, it's too early to make a... to end the episode. Let's just go and see what's to see. Travel away, travel away. The Weeping Spires. I wonder why it's called as such. It must be that stuff up there. Yeah, it probably is. There's no areas nearby or anything I can explore, is there? No, I guess not. Oh, oh, the loot I missed. The loot I missed. Maybe the travel will kill enough time that I can end the episode. Horfrost staff, you saying? What is that? Uh, Horfrost staff. 47. What's uh, Solus rocking these days? Oh, I took out Dorian again. What's Dorian rocking these days then? 55. Yeah, your staff was very much makeshift. Um, so you got that. The Keeper Fire staff, which is better. Doesn't really suit you, though. Um, I don't give you Snap or Sunrise. Not really, anyway. Oh, Sunrise is 87 DPS. That's nice. Um, let's give you the... Oh, you can have a loan of Chandler. Why the hell not? I'm not that guy. I just need to remember to get it off you so that I can... Oh, what's in, what's in there? Okay, lay out. Let's, let's do it. I don't see much in the way of structure ahead of me or anywhere in particular. Maybe they maybe the bars just camp. Oh, no, there's a structure. There's a fucking castle right in front of me. I got him. I didn't expect to get him, but I got him. The... Okay, I think I'm going to leave the Vilfire here. I don't really think I need it that much. And there indeed is a camp ahead. The camp itself. We're just gonna kill a couple minutes and end the episode by uh, having a look around the area. Killing some ghouls and goblins. And harvesting some resources like Summerstone. You know, that, that's a good way to end up actually, thinking about it. I can go back to camp and I can requisition those things which I've, uh, I've earned. Throughout my um, throughout my travels through this area, so we'll have a look at them. Um, here we go. 
Requisitions, requisitions. Oh, and everybody leveled up too. Great, okay, that'll do, that'll do nicely. So we've got the Falamar Geological Survey. Several Dwarven academics at the University of LA have requested samples of ore from the Falamar. Uh, the reward is just one power though, and there's a lot of resources for just one power. Um, okay. we got the field tents, also one power. Does this stuff, I wonder, have knock-on effects? Dwarven academics. And there's mining equipment at the Oasis. We're abruptly stopped. They could be resumed. But the Skyhole Garden we know is going to be useful. Uh, invest in the garden space to increase utility while reflecting the Inquisition's needs. Increase the ability to grow herbs or create a chantry space to gather resources from the faithful. Reward plus one power. Okay. So if I do it... Okay. Interesting that it gives me the options as if there's a choice. I guess I must go back to the Skyhold Garden in order to decide one way or another because I, I don't feel like I've decided anything yet. And as for this stuff, let's just see if it has an effect. Might as well experiment. And I guess we can do uh, the mining equipment as well. Go. Resuming, because I'm hoping that that will have like in-universe effects is all. Got the UI. UI in this game, I swear to God. I don't... This is good. Like, um, I saw a clip recently of somebody complaining quite harshly about uh, using WASDA to navigate menus, but in this case, it sort of works. It's much easier than using the mouse, which is unreliable at best. Not an excuse. Well done on the WASDA thing. That's implemented successfully, but otherwise, not so good. A greener garden. Quest completed. I wonder if that has anything in, uh, in there. Uh, Skyhold... A greener garden. Hey, well, doesn't really say anything about it. And uh, you have something. Inquisitor, if you have a moment. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Plague elixirs. Plague elixirs. For uh, Inquisition are trying to combat the mysterious sickness that are affecting our forces in the Fal Falamar. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, disease tissue in Elford. Worth it. Maybe it is just power, but I hope it has knock-on effects. Uh, and let's have a look at everybody's levels too. So, Dorian, it'd be nice to get you specialized a little bit further into your necromancy stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, you've learned to leave enemies vulnerable to their terror. Enemies that are packed take increased damage. Okay. That seems useful. Just as a passive, it just seems really cool. Um, Blackwall, for his part, get him another thing in champion. Either resilience, you don't flinch, don't blink, don't back down. Enemies that hit you with melee attacks are staggered by recoil. Very nice. Uh, you stand all the stronger to finish the fight, getting a bonus to your maximum guard. I feel like this is better. You don't have the much of a problem of losing health, but this kind of fits with your personality too. And then Cole, last of all. Uh, let's get you another thing in Assassin. What about this? I mean, that sounded cool as well, but this knockout bomb, you hurl a grenade king, powerful concoction. Uh, sleeping enemies awaken after taking damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. And also fits with your whole mystery thing. Let's just do it. Sounds fun. Right, so folks, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, let's go find out about that Avar fella and why he's so pissed off with me. I feel like I ended an episode recently exactly that way, but what the hell ever. Shut your face. Bye for now, guys. I don't really want you to shut your face. Please leave your not shut your faces in the comments, and I will see you in the next episode.